It's a very important day, of course, for all participants in this project. And a day that we have been waiting for for a very long time. There are two projects that are central to Sun. One is to study what we call star quakes, oscillations of the stellar surface, which tell us something about the conditions inside the stars in the same way as earthquakes tell us about conditions inside the Earth. So that's one project. The second project is to look for planets around our stars. And there we have to follow the variation in light of certain stars, again continuously, to look for very small signatures of a planet passing in front of a star. The uniqueness is that it's going to be part of a global network of telescopes. And the reason we need that is that we want to observe stars continuously for many weeks. We can't do that with a single telescope at a, uh, at a single site on the Earth. So for that reason we need telescopes that can take over when the star sets in one place, the star is rising at the next telescope, and in that way we can follow the stars around the clock for, for many weeks without interruptions. Uh, so the basic idea behind SOM is uh, we would like to do what's called asteroseismology. So asteroseismology is basically a way to probe the interior of stars. So basically we want to measure the surface motions due to, to the pre pressure wave. So that's, that's what we set out to do. And, and of course we would like a network because we do not like the interruptions. Nobody likes interruptions. Uh, so this is our prototype. It's very important that the telescope operates, can't be operated remotely and even works completely autonomously. So the way the telescope uh, functions is that in the afternoon we uh, upload the, the coordinates of the stars to be observed and then the telescope automatically switches on in the evening, starts observing, follows the stars, move, moves from one star to the next and then in the morning shuts down and transfers the data to the computer in August and then we can analyze the data during the day. So it's a very convenient way to be an astronomer. They will ensure that the stars will never set on Aarhus University. This is going to give us uh, a, a number of planets similar to the Earth. Planets in the right distance from the stars where we, there could be life. It's going to give us a completely new insight in the physics of stellar interiors. And you could call that a dream or a nightmare. For me it's a dream really, that the results are going to show that the models I compute of stars are wrong that I have to improve the models, I have to learn something about the physics of stars that I didn't know beforehand. <laughs>